A Coast Guard cutter is expected to reach San Francisco this morning carrying two badly injured British sailors. As national correspondent Lee Cowan reports, they were rescued from a racing yacht in the Pacific that was battered by a giant rogue wave. They are the kind of boats most sailors dream of. 68 feet of pure windblown beauty. But for the crew of the Geraldton Western Australia, that dream became a nightmare. Two members of her crew, a 50-year-old doctor and a 29-year-old software engineer, had to be rescued by the Coast Guard late Sunday night after being injured in a storm so violent it ripped the helm clean off the boat's deck. They were participating in the Clipper Round the World Yacht Race, the longest of its kind for amateurs, some 40,000 miles. But the leg across the North Pacific was the hardest, and the Geraldton's crew was apprehensive even before it began. Yeah, I don't think anybody who's, uh, who's got a brain cell between their ears is going to say they're not uh, slightly nervous about it. On Saturday, the fleet of 10 racing boats hit a storm, the likes of which many had never seen. There's times where you, you kind of almost want to give up, but uh, none of these guys gave up, you know. Worked really, really hard throughout. But it was the Geraldton who took it the hardest. Her skipper told the Coast Guard a monstrous foaming swell broke over the stern. The waves slammed the crew to the deck and ripped the wheel right off its mount, sending it overboard, leaving them temporarily adrift. The weather remained so bad for most of Sunday, rescuers could only airdrop medical supplies to the injured sailors below. It wasn't until just before dusk last night that the most seriously injured were finally taken aboard a Coast Guard cutter to safety. As for the Geraldton, after some repairs, he's going to continue the competition. She was built for racing, and it seems so was her crew. For CBS This Morning, I'm Lee Cowan in Los Angeles.